Welcome back to Bombastic Nation and ting and ting and ting. Back with some more vibe for all you. Let me straighten up this just so it's facing me. But I'm back. It's the day after Christmas and ting. You know, I hope you guys had a good Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, if you celebrate Christmas, hope you had a good one. You know what I mean and ting. But a brethren sent this here to me. It's called uh, uh, The British Empire knew Somalis were the most intelligent. That's what it says, you know what I mean? So I decided, you know what, let me react to this, see what's going on, because I'm interested in seeing what it says, and I'm hoping that uh, it's interesting enough for you guys to uh, dig up. Now, uh, thanks everybody for commenting, and uh, also thank you to everybody for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe, people. Hit the notification button, make sure uh, you know when I'm sending out new stuff, because I'm doing stuff from all over the world, not just one part of the world but all over the world and uh like i said again thank you for subscribing and i ain't going to babylon too much let's youtube and sim sima the british empire knew somalis were the most intelligent this material is from a book written by a British knight diplomat and colonial administrator, Sir Charles Eliot, during the British Empire era and was published 1905. He served Great Britain in Morocco, Turkey, Russia, Hong Kong, East Africa Protectorate and many places. He said, The future of the Somali race is to my mind one of the most interesting and difficult of the problems presented by East Africa. For the present, I advise that we leave them alone, or at least avoid as far as possible the task of attacking them in their own territory. They are naturally isolated, and, if our officers will only avoid getting killed, can do little harm by quarreling with one another in jubilant. Our real task at present is rather to see that they do not encroach to the south, and to prevent them from raiding the Tano River and the Lamu Archipelago. But we can hardly avoid in the future the further task of making a permanent settlement in Jubaland, and the delimitation of the Abyssinian, meaning stop Somali region expansion, frontier may perhaps precipitate that settlement. Certainly to be desired that we should utilize the Somalis. There can be no doubt that they are the most intelligent race in the protectorate, though it may be urged with some justice that they are also proud, treacherous, fanatical, and vindictive. Too much. No, 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 you see? Treacherous, fanatical, and vindictive. It's usually how they describe people when they want to demonize them. That's some strong words they, they, they use in that book there. You know what I mean? And thing, when you think about it, when Columbus came to the, the Caribbean, you know, I, when I was growing up, there was a, a tribe of people called the Caribs over there. And they used to talk about how the Caribs would eat people and then all of that, you know. And I never knew where that came from until doing a, a, another video. And it was found out that it was started by the colonizers to demonize them. So it's all right to wipe them out. And that's what they did. They wiped them out. I mean, there's pretty much no descendants of that tribe left, if, if, if any at all. You know, just a little bit, if any at all. So you see that when they use language like that, and in modern day times, people still use language like that. I mean, everybody does. I mean, when I was on the island, you hear certain language about Cubans and stuff before the Cubans came there. You know, you hear certain language about Russians before the Russians came there. And then I heard certain language about Americans before I came here. And then you, you realize it's just people trying to live and be free and enjoy life, period. Everybody is like that. So, you know, you lose languages the language you use, or the wording that you use, I should say, helps form what other people think of people. And that's what he did there. It's, it's a nice tool, I guess, or, or a deadly tool. Stress, I think, is often laid on these bad qualities, and it is certain that the average <coughs> Englishman has little sympathy for the Somali. He tolerates a black man who admits his inferiority, and even those who show a good fight and give in, but he cannot tolerate dark color combined with an intelligence in any way equal to his own. This is the secret of the almost universal dislike, and it reappears in the unpopularity of the Somali among East African officials. 
The Somali are not willing to agree to the simple plan of having a fair fight and then shaking hands when defeated, but constantly indicate that they think themselves our equals or superiors, and not unfrequently prove it. Whenever it is worth our while to occupy Jubaland, and let them see a few hundred white men instead of half a dozen officials, which is literally all that they know of us at present, I anticipate that we shall not have much difficulty in getting on with them. The attractions of civilization are so great for them, and our superiority in this respect so incontestable, that there can hardly be any doubt as to the result. Another word again. Our superiority. What will happen in the wider limits of Somaliland, north of the Juba, it is hard to predict, but the area to the south is sufficiently small to offer an easy field for the extension of European influence when it is commercially and financially worthwhile. Meanwhile I think we had better let the Somalis alone, and avoid these conflicts between a lion and a swallow. This book is called The East Africa Protectorate, by Charles Eliot, written in 1905. John Smith Ramad TV Wow, that's interesting. That's, that, that's somebody writing about them and his thoughts about leave them alone. You know, they're pretty intelligent and stuff like that. But that's just not what I think. It's not just with the Somalis, though. Uh, each tribe or group is intelligent. But if you come with superior weaponry, intelligence... When you have superior <laughs> when you have superior weaponry, intelligence is put on the back burner because you have a bunch of people running in there shooting, killing, drawing swords and stuff like that. And of course, you know, other people doing the telling of how to do it and all that. I'm I'm a really peaceful guy, like I, I keep saying. I don't believe in all that war and stuff like that. I do listen. And I've said it before. We all on this earth, nobody's going anywhere. At least not the groups that are here now. Smaller groups have been extinguished, you know, by other larger groups. And that's everybody doing that. That's not just the colonizers doing that. It happened within Africa. It happened within the natives in, 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 in North America. You know, they wipe out each other at some point if a group is small enough and not strong enough. That's just what humans do when they get greedy and stuff like that. However, like I was saying, we're all here. Nobody's going nowhere. You gotta start learning how to live together, you know, and stop this. I did this. I'm better than you, or you know, this better than thou stuff. That's just causing conflict. And then we have certain leaders all over the world using that against us. You gotta stop doing that, bruh. We gotta start living together. You know what I mean? And and stop the craziness against each other, if we, for lack of a better word or lack of an easier way to explain. But anyway, I ain't gonna babble on and ting. You know what I mean? I'm gonna end this year. This was really interesting, you know what I mean? And like I said, what the man said applies to pretty much everybody uh, that have been colonized or conquered or anything like that. It's not because they're stupid they get colonized, it's because some people have superior weaponry and others don't. But you know what, man? We all living in this world together. We all got to take care of each other. Keep watching. Right there, click on that. I've got some more about different countries. I've got Portugal, Spain, you name it. All those countries coming up because I figure if we all know each other's past, then we could respect the present and again get along in the future. You understand what may I say? So keep watching the bubble up there. Click on it. See what else I might have there for all you to check out and learn as we go along. And while you're doing that, take care of each other, all right? Cool runnings.